Actor Jonathan Rumi joins me now. It's so nice to meet you in person, and congratulations on your work, Jonathan. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here. This work that you have built over these things on Hallow and on The Chosen, I think, have been so, as I said, transformative for so many people in terms of their understanding of Jesus' life. Give us a sense of what to expect on the Hallow app. It starts today for the Advent Pray 25. Well, the, uh, the Pray 25 Advent Prayer Challenge is, I, I believe, going to be just as transformative as many of the moments from The Chosen have been for people. Um, it's basically guiding people through the writings of C.S. Lewis into a deeper relationship with Christ. Uh, I think something we could all use as uh, we just turn on the TV and see the state of the world. Um, but I think it's, it's really going to give people a level of peace and um, serenity that, uh, that they're really looking for right about now. Yeah, I mean, I think that's an understatement, right? Mm -hmm. We have so many horrific situations playing out in the world, and then I think people are trying to sort of escape into Christmas, and sometimes that means the things you talked about there, you know, cooking and getting ready. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been doing that. I'm sure everybody has. But this is a way to kind of calm your soul down for a few minutes and connect with what's really important about this season, and I think it will make Advent just richer for everyone who who takes advantage uh, of that opportunity. Um, I mean, Liam Neeson, Mark Wahlberg, there's all these big, huge stars on the yeah. Hallow app. For people who have no idea what it is, how would you describe this Hallow app to them? Um, Hallow app is, I don't want to give metrics or statistics because while they are impressive, the thing that I think really people need to know is that your life is only enriched when you have a relationship with your creator. And this app gives you literally thousands and thousands of ways to do just that, whether it's scripture readings, Bible, music, w whatever your inroad is to a deeper relationship with, with Christ, Hallow has an option for you. Whatever denomination of Christianity you might fall under, Hallow has an option for you. So it's, it's, uh, there's something for everyone. There are night, med on a personal note, there are night meditations, so often, it's not uncommon for me to fall asleep to the voice that you're hearing right now. <laughs> it's not that it puts me to sleep, right. it's just that it's- None taken. It's, in, it's, <laughs> it's meant to sort of help you unwind and right. connect uh, with the Lord as you head off to sleepy land. So um, I, had, I recommend all of it, because there's something there for everyone, as you say. What has the role of playing Jesus meant in your life? I mean, we could talk about it for hours, but give people a sense, because I'm, I know every time anyone sees you now, they think, oh, there's Jesus. So how, how, is, how does that work in your life as an actor and a human being? Yeah, it's, it's been both profound and completely surreal, um, but ultimately uh, the profundity of it is, is what I know is going to outlive me. If people are somehow drawn to the person of Jesus because they've seen my portrayal and maybe they never heard of him or knew who he was and or knew very much about him, but now they want to go figure out for themselves, like, well, what did he really say? Is this real? Was he real? Was, is this true? Um, who was he and why did he change the world irrevocably? Uh, 2,000 years ago, like what is it about them? And they go and dive into like the Bible for themselves or they, they get onto this a path of, of exploration and, and wanting to know Christ on a deeper level, then I mean, that, my job is done. That's, that's, to do that for me is, is probably the, the most um, humbling um, career path that God could have ever brought me down. Season four is obviously, you know, in the past season, there was walking on the water and the Beatitudes and, and all of this beautiful vision of, of the life of Jesus. But now you're getting into the end of Jesus's life. How was this experience for you and what should people look for in season four? Yeah, so um, season four gets us one season closer to the cross, but then ultimately the resurrection, right? Um, but it's it's becoming, it's becoming more difficult now to kind of stay sort of strictly within Jesus' followers and that community. Um, Everybody is now talking about Jesus. The authorities, Roman and the Jewish leaders of his community, um, aren't very happy with how things are going in their uh, in their towns. So it's getting a little more difficult for for Jesus' ministry, and um, and I think that's you know Jesus knows it, and he sees his followers uh, starting to realize the weight of what's to come. Yeah. 
Jonathan Rumi, uh, look for him and his voice on the Hallow app, and you can pray 25 with the voice of Liam Neeson and learn more about C.S. Lewis this Advent. It's a wonderful way. I, I'm going to be doing it every day, so I um, hope you'll do it with me, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, Jonathan, thank you, thank you. so much. Such a pleasure to have you with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.